Hey, it's Michael from agiletraining.co.uk. Welcome to my another free tutorials, free lesson for Jira. And this time we're gonna talk about something, in my opinion, is like so hidden and, and so powerful, not a lot of Scrum Masters Manager using this functionality. We, we're gonna talk about the bulk change in Jira. So pretty cool stuff. And well, what is this? It's like you know, very, very often I've got a question from people how to close multiple issues. Like, you know, you, we, uh, very often we're just like doing work, doing work, doing work, or we've got something like the, the status is blocked for a very, very long time. And it's just like a graveyard, you know, and just basically we just like leave it over there and just forget, you know, or sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to create new status and update uh, your, your issues. Uh, and the number could be like, for instance, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 issues. And well, change this manually, it's going to be a problem. But you know, even, even if you've got uh, 20 issues, you know, just changing every single issue manually, it is, uh, it is not fun. So that's why in Jira we've got this, uh, I would say like a little hidden, 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 hidden gem that bulk change operations. And I'm going to show you again on a Jira server in the clouds, very same way. It's like so similar you can you can you can just basically replicate my steps uh, without any problems all right so let's jump it into GS server I'm gonna show you how, let's let's just resolve maybe a few issues I mean, it's gonna be that magic because I don't have that many actually tickets but this is just an example all right so I guess it's a real life example I just want to push every issue in a backlog into the select for development which is you know why not I know, I'm just like assuming maybe this is like kind of like a blocked or whatever status. So first of all, where are we going to find uh, our bulk operations um, in Jira? So it's actually part of the issue navigator. We're going to go for the search. And first of all, you need kind of search. So again, you know, basic, I'm going to, I'm going to switch into basic because why not? Uh, and we're gonna go for our actually new project which I just created. And the status is I want to see the backlog. So we've got only and we've got only four four tickets. And I would like to push that four tickets to uh, maybe select to development. So very simple process. And obviously, you know, for four tickets, I will probably not bother by using the bulk change. Well, I actually, still do that but sometimes it, it could be a different case you can have like thousands of tickets and by the way by the way what, what there is actually one uh, little catch yes so you have got maximum 1500 1500 issues you can move at once but it's still a pretty large number but you know if you've got like five six thousand uh, tickets you have to do it a few times but pretty simple because you're gonna create filter probably for that yeah all right, so let's do this. Uh, we've got our, actually, let's assume like 500 issues. We wanna, I don't know, do something with them. Let's go for tools and go for the bulk. But before we're gonna do it, before we're gonna do it, just again, one more, uh, I'm gonna give you one more tip because you, 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 you maybe, maybe some of you are not gonna see this option. And it is of course possible. And, and, and this is more actually, I would say like more common if you do not have admin rights because in Jira you can actually block this operations. Yeah. So if you are not in a group, let's say your administrator decided uh, that group or role doesn't really matter is not allowed to do the bulk change, you won't gonna see this option. Yeah. So just just make sure you actually you can actually see it. Uh, and obviously you know go for your Jira cloud free version and test it. So let's go for the bulk change. And obviously I'm not gonna go for every single example over here but let's go for the next and what we can do over here look at this we can actually edit you want to maybe add something you want to change it you want to do at the due date uh you want to move it maybe to another project but we're gonna just do the transition yes so we're gonna go from the backlog we're gonna go for for select in development so look at this it's gonna be affected that many tickets go for next and now we are almost ready but i'm gonna give you my 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 another tip real life examples i would say just just think if you really want to send uh, emails to users because believe me if you've got like thousand tickets and your jira instance is pretty large uh, well jira will send thousand emails yeah so uh it, well maybe that's absolutely okay but normally normally 
uh, for such operations, I would just say, no, we don't want that. And look at this, two clicks, <laughs> third click, Jira is doing it. Obviously, you know, I've got a, uh, just four tickets, so it's not gonna be that slow, super fast. And they're gone, they're gone. Of course, the filter is empty because all issues now been moved, yeah? So if you go back, there we go. We've got all select for development being moved by the bulk change. So really simple one, you know, really, really simple. I'm gonna actually focus now to show you the rest one because you can actually do it. You have to, you have to, exp you have to experiment with that. Actually, stop watching this video, uh, create maybe your filter, experiment, go for the, go for the bulk change and have a, have a look, you know, it's a, it's a very, very powerful feature. Uh, can save you definitely a lot of, a lot of time. Okay, so thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, please leave the comment. What do you think? Uh, maybe you want to see something something else. Uh, hit the like if you like it. If, hit the dislike if you don't like it. And I hope I am gonna see, I'm gonna see you soon.